Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to quickly ask you if you would please subscribe and like this video so I can support this channel in the future. Today's video, we will be discussing some movie trivia and one serious fan theory. I asked my Instagram family what type of video I should do first and you guys said, draw with me. You also said Harry Potter when I asked what other videos you'd like to see from me. So, I spent some time scouring the deepest secret chambers of the internet for my favorite Harry film photos. You guys came through for me again, gosh I love you, and helped me decide on number two. Here is my little book holder turned easel setup and my reference drawing which I have both on the computer screen and on my phone. This is just my own approach to drawing. I didn't go to school for drawing, aside from a few single drawing lessons here and there in high school. Also, one individual drawing class in university. My first passion for drawing actually came from anime and manga, but I never learned to draw from my head very well, so I moved on to portrait drawing. Last year I decided I wanted to draw portraits and that's what I primarily draw now. The tools I use for this drawing are simple. I used a toned drawing paper, one 4B pencil, because I love drawing with soft pencils. I create thicker lines and decent shading this way, though I'm still learning to shade. Last, I just use a regular eraser. This particular one is by Stadler. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. And of course, I use a pencil sharpener because soft pencils need lots of sharpening. Now one technique I've seen is to sort of block out the face, as in draw a very loose shape of the outline of the face to properly draw the proportions. I think that if you can learn to draw this way, it's probably much simpler and more accurate. I, however, do not do it this way because I didn't find out about it until I was six months into portrait drawing. I personally prefer to choose a point on the face, usually the eyes, but Harry's eyes are almost shut here, so I'm going to start with the nose. One technique that I do try to implement is using my drawing tool as a ruler to measure the distance between features. Lining up the eyes straight down to the mouth on your reference will give you a good idea as to where to end the mouth on your drawing. Another technique for drawing from reference is using a grid. I also don't do that, but it's another technique to research if you're interested. I spent in total about an hour on this illustration. I really enjoyed doing it. I haven't drawn a portrait in a few weeks. Um, it's, it is something I really love doing, but I don't always find the time for it between all of my other activities. So this was a nice change of pace. Moving on, let's get into magical facts. Oh, that sounded really bad. <laughs> all right, let's move on and get into the magical facts. First, I just found this out last night. The late actor Rick Mayall shot and was paid for his role as Peeves the Poltergeist, which readers of the book series will know of. They did not keep his footage though, and it was cut from the final film. He's reported to have said, quote, with respect, no, with no respect at all. The film was, for lack of a better word, beep. Cheeky. And honestly, that guy looks like a poltergeist if I've ever seen one, which I haven't, but if I had to pick someone to play a poltergeist, it'd be that guy. The children in the cast needed casts of their teeth for continuity purposes, just in case one of the children lost a tooth and needed to put a fake in. As Daniel Radcliffe said, it was a cast of a bunch of 10 year olds. Draco Malfoy's lines make me laugh every time I watch the movies, but the famous line, I didn't know you could read. Was improvised because Tom Felton forgot his line. You may be aware already that the original UK version of the first book, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, was renamed in the US as Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Did you know that during the filming of the movie, dialogue was shot twice to swap the words philosopher and sorcerer for the countries they'd be released in? Of course! Here it is. Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Sorcerer's Stone. The what? Of course, here it is. Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Philosopher's Stone. The what? 
I'm in no fit state to entertain today. We know about the social stone. But I'm in no fit state to entertain today. We know about the philosopher's stone. Oh. A little bit of Harry Potter trivia now. The 31st of October 1991, Halloween, was also the 10 year anniversary of Harry's parents' death. But it is also the date that Ron and Harry saved Hermione from the troll in the bathroom. <laughs> This day is often regarded as the day that the trio became friends. Browling does not like to leave a lot of coincidences. Moving on to the Prisoner of Azkaban and the introduction of Bogarts. Browling has said if Voldemort saw Bogart, it would embody his own corpse since death has always been his greatest fear. Do you know what your Bogart would look like? Let me know in a comment down below. I imagine mine would probably be like Harry's and I would see a Dementor because I'm more afraid of being afraid than probably anything else. But it's really hard to say. Circling back to drawing. Right now I'm shading in Harry's clothing. On the reference photo, his clothes are out of focus. So I try to sort of mimic that with my shading style. Don't think it really did anything but it still looks good i also had to redraw the golden snitch because i noticed it was very out of place it just needed to be more circular so i just quickly redrew that and here's a little better look at it for you guys Something I want to work on when I do my drawings is the outline of everything. I notice that it tends to be very dark in some places. It's just an uneven outline. Shading the fingers is really what brought them to life. When you put shading to things, it adds more depth to your image. So if I could recommend anything, I would say definitely practice your shading if you want your picture just to look pretty. One last suggestion for when you're learning to do portraits is to draw from life. Ask a friend if you can draw them. They don't necessarily have to sit still for the entire drawing. Just drawing the different shapes and quick angles are, is really helpful. I normally don't use the side of a pencil when I shade and drawing but I decided to do that with this one because I wanted a softer look for Harry. Before we get into this last fan theory let me guys know what you think about future video content. I'd like to do a video chatting about my tattoos. Let me know if you'd be interested in that and let me know if you liked the draw with me. What kind of Harry Potter facts and information would you like to learn in the future? Here's a fan theory for you. For quite a while now, there's been a theory that the Dursleys are horrible to Harry because he's a horcrux. You may or may not have heard this one already. In the Deathly Hallows, it's seen that when one of the Golden Trio wears a horcrux, they become quite rude, angry, or even hostile. Yeah, I'm still here. Spit it out. All right, I'll spit it out. But don't expect me to be grateful just because now there's another damn thing we've got to find. Please take the whole crux. You wouldn't be saying any of this if you hadn't been wearing it all day. Well, this theory has been proven untrue by the Queen herself, J.K. Rowling. She stated that Vernon Dursley hated Harry because he was embarrassed by his father, who Harry, of course, reminds him of. I haven't seen any other written character motivation for hating Harry by J.K. Rowling, but one can presume that Petunia was jealous of her special sister. My perfect sister being who she was. Oh, my mother and father were so... And Dudley, well, he's bound to be a lost cause anyway. And that's what I've got for you guys today. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave any Harry Potter trivia you've got for me in the comments down below and let me know what you thought of this job with me. Love you. Bye.